Right, now we're going to do a flare joint. Um, to do that, we're going to use a flare fitting like that. You might find it comes in two pieces. Okay. What happens is the inside of that fitting matches the curve of that fitting, so it makes it a seal. And it, you've got to flare out the copper so the copper squeezes tight against that surface at the top there. Okay. Um, what we're going to use is we're going to use flare tool. It also comes with two pieces. This one squeezes down. This one's the backing plate for that, so it shapes the copper how you need it. Now I've cut a short piece off a coil of copper pipe, so this is a coil of soft copper, 8mm. So I've just cut a piece, we might use this for testing our uh, steel pipe work. Okay. In a real scenario, you'd probably use it to um, connect a, like a small heater or something like that. Now, obviously it's not a big pipe, so you're not getting a huge volume of gas through, but um, a small space heater coming off a galve main or even a pixel main, okay, which is the type of plastic used for gas as well. Right, how do we do it? Um, it's always a good idea to slide your nut on first. In this case, it's not really a problem because you can go through both ways, but if you slide it on and you've got a bend in it, often the, the nut won't go around the bend. So slide it on first. Make sure there's um, no burrs. You've got a nice smooth cut, a nice straight cut, with no rough bits to um, upset it when we and they're going to find the size that that's going to fit into comfortably. So, in this case, it's 3 eighths. That's 3 eighths of an inch. Got that through a fraction, probably a couple of mil. Now I need to tighten it right up. Both ends. It's quite tight, so I'm going to use a crescent to tighten this end up. Gives me more leverage. Now it's not going to slip out when I use the other piece. So this piece slides in like that, twists around, spin it, that, lo that locks it in, can't move out, and then you just tighten that up all the way till the copper's actually squeeze right in to make that shape, which is making the shape of the brass fitting as well. Right, so that's made a nice even flare all the way around, which is going to match quite nicely with that piece. Okay, And that's just, the copper is soft enough to form a seal against the brass, which is a bit harder. The nut, all that does is just pull that on tight and make sure it can't loosen up. Okay, so we're just going to tighten that up, put it in the vise. And just tighten that up. It's quite a small nut, so you don't need it too t hugely tight. You use too big a spanner. Crescent. 12 inch crescent, it's larger. That's actually really too big. You don't have enough feel when you're right at the back here, you've got so much leverage you could actually easily over tighten the nut. So try and use a crescent the right size. If it's a big nut, you need a bigger crescent. If it's a small nut, it's a small one. Take that one, two, three. Just going around eight times that time, I think that's enough. Uh, make sure the tape isn't restricting the pipe or restricting anything in there. You don't want that tape blocking the way. The gas is only low pressure, so if you've got a blockage, it will stop the gas flow through. Now I'm just going to do this up by hand. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the vise. and just tighten it right up. Okay. 
Right, so that's our joint. That's our flare joint here. That's a threaded male to female joint. And another same, same joint there with a flare. Now we could connect something on there, maybe a manometer, and do some testing.